Hello and welcome to Truck NIS. We are here at Pocono this week and we are just about to get started for some qualifying. We've got a Daniel setup as we often do and I'm excited as always to give it a try. I didn't get as much practice as I would have hoped uh, because of work early uh, in this week and uh, practicing for the race that happened the night before this one, which is the Diet Dr. Pepper series. So, only so much free time, only so much practice I can do. But, did get some uh, practice before uh, qualifying here in the server, which is very helpful. Uh, Daniel actually had two different options for the qualifying setup. Uh, a looser setup, and then the other, presumably, tighter setup. And uh, I can see the value to both. Uh, I think turn two, you can take more stably in the standard setup, but I think the looser setup will be more useful for one and three, and that's the one I ended up going with. I think uh, being able to get through those turns and get more rotation will be useful, so that's what I went with. I'll just have to be a little bit more careful in the tunnel turn. I don't know if I'm going to have a blazing fast lap here. I'll give it my best. But there are some guys that have been kind of out of my reach, I think. We get through there alright. Like I said, a little bit less stable through there than the other setup, but it's okay. Get through turn three pretty good, happy with that. And we'll even get a nice little run to the line for lap two. Let's see if we can improve it all. We got a 53-9, which puts us third, fourth right now. Obviously probably gonna drop some more, but that's okay. Let's see uh, if we've got anything on lap two here. Looks a little bit less fast through turn one. We'll, tr we'll really try to attack turn two here. Now that uh, the tires have warmed up a little bit, see if we can gain anything. Woo! Okay. I did what I said I'd do. Uh, gained a little bit back. Is it enough? Question. Gonna push through turn three as well. But I don't think that's going to be any better than last lap. I'll take it, though. I think we put in a decent lap. It was my best lap yet at a 53. That was all right. So I I'm happy with that. I will definitely take it, especially because I didn't get the practice as much as I wanted. So looking like Dylan on the pole. You got a whole tenth up on us. Nick and Gavin right behind us. That's cool. So we'll be, uh, we'll be around some good drivers. Always around good drivers in this league, though. And uh, P4 right now, happy with that. We'll see if uh, that sticks. But plenty enough near the front for me to be happy. We will do a practice pit in right here. I have not done that yet, so I want to give that a try. Couldn't be too difficult at Pocono here. Pretty straightforward. Down to 50, and there you go. Simple. We'll even practice some driver's test. Get our driver's license. Take the hairpin. Woo! <laughs> I like doing that every time I finish a run at Pocono. So we are back to fifth now. Scott on the pole. Very nice lap. Screwed up three massively. And still pole. <laughs> yeah. I screwed up one, two, three massively, apparently. Scott looking to get, what, his third win in a row in the truck in IS? He's been killing it lately. That's the end of the session, P5. So we are going to go ahead and put the race setup in. Check it flags out, P5. Hello, hello, hello. 
what is the alphabet? L M N O P. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm glad embarrassing things happen for everyone to see. I do want to make sure I've got my certain settings correct on the chassis, so I will let you go for just a moment. And in fact, we have the warm-up coming up, so we will rejoin whenever it is time to do the gridding. So I'll see you there. Can you hear me now? We are back. Gotcha. <laughs> Rick wants to know if he can, uh, if you can hear him now. We are back for gridding. We are P5. And we are going to hopefully have ourselves a good race. Stages are uh, 15, 30. So we'll have to keep that in mind. We're just going to go a full tank so we can get to 30. And uh, pretty straightforward because it is a 60 lap race. You can make it on one stop if you just do that. So We're going to save some fuel, make sure we can make it. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed. Gadsta, 73. At least this track's good for drinking beer. So it's a long straightaway. So we can actually barely make it. I don't want to burn off too much fuel here with 30.6 estimated. So we'll clutch a little bit. See 30.5 already. We got to make it to the line, and it still be 30. Of course, I'm sure we'll save more. That's probably not completely accurate, but we'll save. We'll make sure we're saving. Not really sure what to expect here. Uh, I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I wish I had gotten more practice, but uh, we qualified all right, and uh, we'll be able to watch some fast guys ahead of us. And I think I'll just take it kind of easy, this race. Not try to do anything too crazy. Try to be nice to the car, slash truck. And, uh, you know, just have some fun. Death one second here. Going green. Regret checking. <laughs> okay. Really see the leader too much. There we go. Okay, car is off. Be ready. Cannot see him at all. Cannot see him at all. He's gonna go break the draft majorly right off the start. Nick on our outside. up in front of them, get single file, which is what I really want to do here. Heading into turn two. Gavin slots in behind us. I think Nick backed out for him there. Nice rotation through three, that's good. That's a place that can really plow on the right front if you're not careful, so it's good to feel that we're getting lots of turn. Sorry about that, Dan. Oh, you're all right, man. Make sure we're slowing down enough. Turn one. Okie dokie, Nathan. So far, so good. I did not do that on purpose. Sorry about that. That was not on purpose. All right, everything is looking good so far. Single file, getting some laps done. That's really all, all you can ask for at the start of one of these. Yeah, I knew you let off. I couldn't see what it was for, so sorry about that, man. Keep it down low. I think you get your best rotation down there. Actually getting a little bit away from uh, Gavin. 
We will want to try to stay in the draft. Draft is pretty big in the trucks. Outside. Just looking, but it looks like he's going to back out for us. I don't, I just really didn't want to lose this draft. And it was looking like he was losing on on him a little bit. Might be too late. Before though, can't feel too bad about that. They're just gonna continue to inch away from us ahead with each other's draft help. Point eight ahead. We should be getting the tiniest sniff of a draft, but not much. Nick, Certainly not as uh, much as Alex is getting ahead of us no, with his no, point three that'll, deficit that'll problem. Okay, let's make it sure, because I know sometimes, like, someone, someone hits someone lightly, they won't get an export. No, I, I was mirror driving. Basically a sprint race here today. Only 60 <laughs> laps is pretty quick. Everyone was kind of surprised about that, about that. I have not followed you there, Nick. Use a little bit of that yellow line to get turned, maybe. Got through there pretty good. Gavin up to Ryan back there. Uh, go ahead, Nate. I see you, buddy. Well, appreciate it. I think Daniel's got a great set here. It's rotating really well. I like it a lot. Pocono, I get the impression it's a very tricky triangle and a very tricky place to make a setup for given how different the corners are it's kind of like that Q setup where we had one setup that was great in two but the other setup much better in one and three you kind of just have to pick your strengths I think happy with the, how this one's feeling though less happy with seeing that Q bar up there but what am I going to do about that I got loose, but it works. nothing I can do so just gonna keep Very driving. Cool. If I start blinking, I'll be lit. Now I'm just gonna focus on hitting my marks and pretend everything's good. Oh man, how did Gavin get 1.8 behind us? I swear he was much closer just a second ago. Yeah, I tried shifting there, Jim. That did not work. Shifting? That's interesting. Yeah, that was bad. I kind of tried that a little bit. I don't think that's something I'm going to try to do. Unless I get super tight I like late in I the, the wrong gear and I ran a three and a quarter. Almost pushed wide. Anybody else? Uh, How are we doing on fuel? 23. My, my okay, we're plenty good to make it to 30. I have absolutely no clue. I just downloaded a set another car. Loving this setup. Feels great right now. Scott kind of commanding the race though. He's two seconds ahead. We're catching Alex now. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Getting loose out of three. 
Still a good feeling though. I like I much prefer that be loose than tight. Kind of a little bit too far off the bottom there. off a little early into two since we were following right behind him. Gotta be careful. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pit. Heads up. I'm surprised at how big the gap is behind us. This top uh, four pulling away a bit. Although Scott's kind of in his own group even up there. Uh-oh, someone's spinning down on the apron? What's going on there? Some someone come out of the pits. I'm not sure why they would have pit already. I guess some damage happened. I'd like to try to get in front of Alex before the stage ends. About five laps from now. See if we can do it. I think he's better in three, though. We kind of catch him right before we head into two. And then he's usually a little farther away after we get through three. Which is interesting. Martin leaves. He was a lap truck having some issues. He didn't have a very good race, I don't think. That's unfortunate. Why am I breaking into the tunnel turn? <laughs> I mean, I guess it worked. Kind of. Turn a bit shallow there. Glad I passed Ryan, because I think it we were just barely able to latch on to this draft here. He's back there a couple spots back now. I think that was a good decision. Push just for a moment to get around. Dylan, he looks a little closer than I remember. Maybe I just haven't been able to see him because he's hidden behind Alex. Maybe I'm full of nonsense. I've kind of been missing my marks. i got to get this figured out. I entered too shallow into three again that time. Feels like you bogged down so badly, but I really don't think third gear is going to be a, a thing. I guess I could try again once we get later, get late runs here. Really aggressive through the tunnel turn that time. I don't want to wreck myself though. I'm struggling in turn three. I think it's my approach, though. I don't think I'm entering quite right.
Excellent green flag racing so far, though. I thought that might be the case at Pocono. Things uh, either tend to bunch up way too much if the draft is too big of a deal, or uh, space out quite a bit because of how big this place is. Which, I guess, uh, tells you you never know actually what to expect at <laughs> Pocono. Because those are two complete opposite things. So, what am I talking about? Who knows? Nobody really knows. Not even me. I was a little bit better through three that time, I think. So this is the stage right here. Don't think we're going to get around Alex, but P4, still excellent. Definitely be happy with that. Maybe we can have a really good tunnel turn or something. Mm. Really entered easy in the turn three that time. I wanted to see if I could make something happen, but nah. We'll keep P3 for the stage. That's cool. And we're just on track to uh, make it to 30 as well, so all's good there. He goes high. Man, you couldn't do that last lap? <laughs> I don't think we're going to get by him anyway. Pushed up a little wide there. Okay, Colton, you've got half your fuel left. Here we go again, Grady. He gets much better run off. He took the turn three a little wider there. Getting tighter. Handling is. Have I been too hard on it? I don't know. I think we're getting through the tunnel turn better here by easing off and getting the run out of two. Dylan might be catching Scott up there. Gavin might be catching us. It looks like he gained gained a couple tenths the past couple laps. He and Nick still pretty close. Definitely tight. Uh, it's really tempting to try third gear, I gotta be honest. It's very tempting. Oh, they're nearly battling up there for the lead. I see they're only two tenths apart. They're pretty close. I 
That was a lot of slide that I didn't like. Losing a lot of grip here. I tried it. Was it worth anything? I don't even think it was. I heard the last lap, not as good. Better on the tires, though? Maybe. Maybe we try it again. I think I might need a tap of the brakes on the entry of the tunnel turn as well. Handling's going away a bit. Interesting is, I think everybody's going to be pitting all at once, because we can all just barely make it to 30. That's the exact halfway point. Could get pretty, uh, pretty busy. My mark's a little bit better this lap, then. Last lap. I missed it, but Dylan took the lead away from Scott. Dylan had the long run pace. Seam. Are we catching Scott? I don't know. Gavin's still catching us. He's within the one second tier now. Dylan driving away. He's got himself in a great position where he's got the lead, a gap, and a growing gap. More could you ask for? I did not get the turn in there. Entered way too high. Kind of fixed it though. A little extra break. Whoa, that was pretty close to the wall. I gotta be careful. Keep this truck clean. The lap time was at 56.3. Here might be a thing now. Kinda liked that. At least in turn one. Outside. Keep low. Still there. We'll get the runoff here. That's not going to be worth anything. Shouldn't have even tried that, to be honest. I was just wasting both of our times. Just had to run, and I uh, thought I might be able to do something with it. That wasn't uh, worth anything.
Is he heading for the wall? Whoa, it looked like he was pushing for a second. He took that pretty, uh, pretty hard. <laughs> That's fun. I like that. Maybe I should be careful with the fuel, though, because we're kind of close to just barely making it to 30. He's really good at maximizing that. She's not pretty. Oh, dang. Oh, pushing. That was not a good feeling. No, all good. I had a run. I was already aiming for it. Some guys, presumably outside of the stage, pitting in for an undercut. That's pretty smart. You're not going to get the points anyway for the stage. Get yourself an advantage. I just realized Ryan's right behind us. They're catching up quick all of a sudden. I gotta take that. That's huge, Ryan. Still there. Still there. Still there. I tried to keep it just by shifting, it did not do it though. Try to pass on the tunnel turn. Ryan is uh, going pretty fast right now. Outside. Clear high. Lift off. Not expect to get his, his inside there. Now we're going to lose this spot. Oh boy, this is tough. Can't see the turning point. All these guys in front of me. So tight right now. I just overdriven it is all. Seventy three bidding next time by. One go remaining. Lap time was fifty six point. We have to hit this lap. Okay, Colton. We're running on fumes tonight. Hit this lap. In this lap. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Ryan gonna go for it. I should go get his draft. He doesn't want to go too wide through there. I missed my turn in again. That was ugly. You have about one lap of fuel left. 73 pitting in. Yep, I'm pitting in as well. In this lap, in this lap. You have to get the pit for more fuel. 71 pitting. 
the game is fitting. The lead is fitting now. There's a car leaving the pit lane. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Pit box in 10. Augustin is now leading. Five. Half a gallon of three, fuel remaining. Two. One. Right here. Well, good job, me. That was a millimeter too far. 50 63. I'm terrible at saving tires, man. Move it, move it. There's a car approaching. Stay behind the line. 20 pit in this time, pit in this time. Look past my box 31. so you can see the time that lost us. It would have been nice if we could go that extra lap, but I don't think anybody could. I mean, maybe if you'd been saving the whole time. I didn't even think about needing to, though. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be weird. It looks like Russell has stacked it. What's that going to do to the running order? I wonder what place I was in for the stage. I wasn't even able to really look. Pretty weird situation. First run, though. Son of a bitch, I... Yeah, I kind of wish it hadn't ended. And it shows me... Yeah, you and me Everyone's always talking over Alan. <laughs> He's got to start transmitting in drivers. I was going to let you have it. If you run it back down, if you'd have tried to pass, I was going to let you go. See, I really thought about staying out another lap to get that couple of spots, but I was like, nah, let me undercut him. Alright, getting caught up. I was happy to drive back to the top 16 after getting past in the tunnel. I'm sixth at the moment. Does Nick still have to pit? No. The long run was fun. That worked out for Nick, I think, although he's old, slightly older tires. Uh, the pace car is coming into the tunnel turn now. If I want to free the truck up just a little bit on the spring rate, then you go right there, up or down. So we get a caution right at about halfway. James, I'm not sure. I can't keep up with the adjustments. I believe if you go up and move the caution. truck up, it's it goes down and tighten. But I could be wrong. We're still connected. We didn't lose connection. Pit road's open. Haven't ha hasn't happened since the last it's open. attempted fix of the internet for me, so... So that's so if you go up on the left, it'll loosen you up. If you go down on the right, it'll tighten you. We're basically on new tires, so we're going to stay out. James needs to head in, though. The pit road is closed right now. Car 51 got out. the lucky it's dot. Closed. Let them pass on the outside. Let the 51 car by. 51 getting the lucky dog. What was everyone's tires looking like on that first run? 71, 73. 60, 75. 68. I was 78, 79. 74, 76. 
I was hard on, on them as usual. Or at least we're on the right rear a little That's bit. That's not even fair. You guys are there near 80. That's <laughs> 67, 70. And I had a spin on the end of the first lap, and I had to go all the way to the back, so I burned off half the tires that way. Yeah, Shane, that's probably why I ran you down there at the end of that run. The biggest fear for a tire is having to join my that's race team. That's probably a little pushy <laughs> there towards the end. I yeah, killed I these things. I almost knocked the wall down out of turn uh, three a few times. I did, right next to Shane. Figured that was the end of my race. We're under caution. It's closed. Yeah, I did the same about 20 laps ago. So we'll be on the outside. Don't worry, Gavin. I put a stripe down there. Basically for fresh tires. Uh, was, was, speaking of that, Gavin, you made it to halfway without someone running you over. I know. It's been great. I've had Nick behind me most of the time, though. <laughs> It's the caution tape. That's what it is. I've got Shane behind me now, though, so I might get ran over. I'll do it face lap for you. Yeah, that works. All right. Let's see what we can do Gavin, here. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I gave you some room when I was right behind you. I might try to get some track position off the start of this run. Yeah, I think I did notice. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see if we can even accomplish that. I'm going to try and hold you off for that stage two, but I just got so tight. Almost but it will be a shorter run wall. than the first no half. Chance. And it seemed harder to pass later. Yeah, I saved my stuff a little bit at the beginning, and then I was, it was feeling pretty good at the end. Yeah, it looked like you were making up a ton of time. Did you get a penalty, Alan? Yes, I... Uh... Um, speeded up too soon coming out of pit, got a speeding penalty. Aw, oh, that sucks. Ugh. I know, and I waited to pit until that very last lap it was showing me in fourth. Oh, that sucks. Well, it's going to be a 25-lap run to the end. We'll see if we can do it green. I think we can. I wonder what happened there for the caution. I imagine it might have been some pit-related scenario, based on the timing. Hopefully the outside lane gets a nice jump. Yeah, I got it. Let's see if we can get anything. I just watched that video today. Car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Get back in the pit. Huge checkup. Not sure what that was. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Didn't really want to go to the inside there, but there was like a big lift off all of a sudden. And a big lift off. Whoa! Kind of weaving at me. Ugh, it's just so hard to pass. Holy, I was used to shit. I think you gotta pass around the outside. If I'm mistaken. Sorry about that, man. Yeah, my bad. I just checked out those quarters and I thought. Wanted track yeah, position, I just I don't think it's going to be possible. I mean, obviously it's possible, but... It's not easy. What length of the race, length of the run you're in?
MP5 though, that's pretty good. Nick holding strong in P2 right now. On slightly older tires, his pit strategy worked to sacrifice stage points Sorry, for track Dad. position. You're good. Yep, there goes the tires on that one. I just have no idea how I would overtake. Was that three wide in the tunnel turn there? Scott out front again. He's got crazy fast short run speed. Back position seems huge. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, no problem. Turn three is just kicking my butt. Turn one for me, sadly. Both for me, sadly. Not saying much, I'm just trying to figure out what I can do here. Feels like we're just so stalled. I mean, maybe it's for the best. Maybe it's going to prevent me from overdriving too much, but. I don't know, man. Happy to be in a good spot, though. P5 is very nice. Drifting out of three, that's always fantastic. Just getting it on the right rear, you know. Scott hasn't really broken away like before, not as much. That was close. trying new things and uh, that one didn't work so well. Nearly clobbered the wall. Ah, sucked. A terrible turn one. Can't figure out what I'm doing, man.
overdriving. That's what I'm doing. Guess that wasn't so hard to figure out after all. Shane's coming up to us now. I just can't figure out these long runs. I don't think I have a very good idea of how to do the short runs either. Too early in the run for that. Better than the last lap, but just because I had a really, really bad turn one last lap. Ooh, some very close to the wall trucks up there. I don't know if anyone got it notably at all, but it got very close, maybe a slight tap. Ryan in the wall. Doesn't break his momentum too much, though. Yeah, sorry, I got into you a little bit. I was trying to stay off here. I just don't know, man. Not feeling that great. I think we're going to lose a couple spots before the end of this one. Fifteen to go. That was a fifty-five point three. Could get to battling up ahead. I could see maybe Nick with his slightly older tires. Dylan getting alongside him, maybe slowing them down to us. I'm gonna need it because they are right now pulling away. Ooh, I saw a puff of smoke. Did someone get the wall? Maybe not. Oh, pass attempt. Nick gonna do the crossover, maybe. I saw smoke again. I think Dylan cleared him, though. That might have been a little bit of a slide job, even. Brings them back to us a little bit. Just got no grip in turn three. It's just four tires sliding pretty much the whole way through. not time for that yet, I don't think. It was kind of working really late run last, last time around, but... Whoa, Shane going really wide out there. Wow, he just clobbered the wall. 
That gives me a little bit of breathing room. That sucks, Shane. I'm real sorry, man. That's too bad. He was having a great run. I mean, he well, still should. Thing called lifting. If I'd have done, I probably wouldn't hit the wall. <laughs> the price should still get a decent finish. Probably going to be the only way any of us were going to be able to pass you. My poker no curse. Sorry, Shane. Oh, you're, you're good. Ooh, I, I think Nick might have just slapped the wall up there. Is Ryan going to have a run on him here, make a pass? Yeah, but I wasn't born Hanging here. out behind him for now. Alex back there, half a second. Man, they are so close to hitting the wall every turn, or every lap through turn two. shallow there not a good turn 10 to go we're starting to do a little bit of weaving I'm struggling hard I think Alex might pass us before the end of this one Falling apart. To die. There, I said it. What do you say? I'm struggling in one really bad right now. Same here, you have me. One for the worst. Pass attempt up ahead. Ryan on the inside of Nick. Backing up before turn two, though. Not ready to make that move yet. I feel like I gotta slow down so much to make that turn. I was just super weird about it that it's the most bank turn on this track, but it's the hardest to go around. To and my truck is super tight just about everywhere except for the exit of three. That's, the first time That's I all on me, too. I've just been driving so inconsistently. I don't think I did a very good job of being nice to the right front, either. We got a battle for the lead up there. Weaving. Alex has much better tires. Minus. No all good. No harm, no foul. Yeah, I know the justice for truck. We got a shit, man. We got a whole train of guys behind us that are ready to pass. A little caution to try to get in there. Okay?
turn one is a struggle. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, it's crazy. He almost had a run there. He thought about it, I think, unless he just wanted me to think. Here. It'll be a miracle if I hold on to a top five. I think he's going to get me right here. He will stay on his outside Clear inside. by shifting to third like a big jerk. Uh, it's too close to the end though. I gotta, I gotta fight for these spots. Oh, Ooh, they went too wide through the tunnel turn. That's kind of what I need to see. Gives me a little bit more room. Five laps to go. I got grip. I need speed. I need a new right front for pitching. I just need a new right front. Yeah. So did Sergio Perez. Too soon. I just want to cost you. Get through there much better that time. As much as I'm struggling, I hope we don't get a late caution. That would, that might turn into a mess. Even if it would give us a chance at something greater. So you got tight. They're good, it's clean. Feels like we're so underpowered. So bogged down out of some of the corners. Alex is coming back again. This time Gavin's behind him. Three to go. Such a huge gap in front of us. I feel like I'm plugging up a whole section of the field with my terrible tires. Pass attempt up ahead, it looks like. Ryan and Nick. I think Nick's backing off for him. It's so hard to pass. I feel like Alex should have should be able to pass me easy. It's just so hard to do here. They're side by side behind me now. That'll give me some more time. Two laps to go. Alex prevails over Gavin for now. Who's in the lead? We got Scott still in the lead. Dylan's right there though. It's 
speaking of right there, Alex, right there behind us, heading into the final corner before the white flag. Oh no, someone lost connection at like the worst time. Speaking of worst time, I just had a terrible exit at the worst time. Alex is going to be able to get alongside us again. Uh oh. Gonna have to make this work one more time. All right, we got the exit. Whatever happens here, Gavin, I love you. <laughs> That's what I needed to see. Oh, no. Alright, just ease it out of this quarter. Don't hit the wall like I feel like I'm going grip, to. Grip, grip. No grip. Oof. That finish was awesome. Good racing, boys. Good. Yeah, that was fun. Good job. Good. That was a bad ass. Really well. Oh, you guys go in the last turn. Good race, good win. That was so tough to pass. I know I was blocking you guys for so long, just being slow. Uh, good run there, Nick and uh, Alex. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I hate to run y'all so hard. Uh, that's racing. That's I feel like a jerk a clean going into us. third gear just to keep the spot, but I kind of did what Nothing I had to wrong do. wrong with uh, hard racing when you're clean. <laughs> now, the racing is always over, boys. I'll catch you next time. Between the three, you guys are just 16th. That was intense. So we uh, we'll get the top five. Man, that was that issue was she was fun. Sixty one, sixty eight. Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, that race was not as boring as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I was way too conservative at, on that second run with my tires. Yeah, me too, because I was catching the leaders, and I just couldn't pass Nick, and I couldn't pass him quick enough. Thanks for keep, keeping clean. Yeah, that was great racing. Um, <laughs> I was uh, not heading in the right direction at the end, though, but we're able to hold on to it just because it's so hard to pass. And uh, so much appreciation to guys for uh, racing clean. I know it would have been easy just to use me as uh, another set of tires. And uh got really interesting at the end, that's for sure. We'll see uh, what happened out here. Not too much. We had, uh, what, the one caution? That's pretty good stuff. So lap five, getting it started here with just a bit of wall hit. Three wide, lap nine. That one turns down maybe just a tiny bit. No harm done though, I don't think. That one's pushing wide there, the 37. Oh, wow, that was almost really bad. Still not good, but almost really, really bad. Nick, oh, that thing stopped turning for him. Four tire slide going on there, maybe. No grip. That's a very, uh, lonely feeling. <laughs> Drifted toward the wall and your truck's just not gripping up. There's Dylan from the lead, too, wow. Scott, I believe, held on to the win. He did. That's three wins in a row, I think, for Scott. I'm going to have to check the standings. He's probably looking pretty good. I think he missed some races, so... Uh, that might be the only reason he's not already in the front. 
sure what I'm seeing here. Me killing my tires, probably. At 31. Don't know. Oh, is this your caution? Uh, I just couldn't hold on to it. And that must have been what brought it out. I think it must have been, or no, maybe not. Maybe this is it. What happened here? Three wide in the tunnel turn? That's never going to work. No way that's ever going to work. That's not a caution either, though. What was the caution? I guess it was the... Not the last one we saw, but the one before. Because we are past whenever the caution happened at this point. weird. There's Shane. No grip. He just could not get it to hook up. Slams the wall. Did he save a decent finish though? 13th. 6th to 13th. I'm sure he doesn't love that, but at least he didn't uh, you know, have to pit with a meatball flag or anything. Could have been worse, I suppose. Ooh. We got some help into the tunnel turn. No, just a really weird entry to it. <laughs> it's kind of bizarre. Blinking. Wall hit there. Wall hit there. And that's it. Scott, you're winner. All right, so we'll get another solid top five. Dylan, Ryan, Nick, myself, and then Alex had a good race with, Gavin, Nathan, Steven, and Ian round out your top 10. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the official results page here in just a moment. Actually, uh, that might be tough because we had to use the, uh, what you call it, the UI which I'm less familiar with. So let me see if I can figure out how to bring that up easily. Um, window capture, league view, is this it? No. Event result? No. Is this it? No. Oh man, I'm sorry. I don't know how to get that up. Oh wait. Hold on. Hey, there we go. I figured it out. So, here is your official results page. 2711 Strength of Field. I didn't know we actually got to see the Strength of Field in league races. But, P5, I'll definitely take that. We will uh, get stage points for each stage. Actually, I'm, I'm curious what my uh, stage 2 uh, finishing position was. I'll go back and look at that in a second. But I uh, never really had winning speed by any means. Scott definitely had a really good sh uh, a showing. Dylan uh, gave him a run for his money. But Scott's still able to pull it off. And uh, go ahead and go back. Switch it back over. There we go. Now let's see, where did I finish uh, stage two? So it's coming to lap 31. Crossing the line here. Ooh, that actually was really close. Did I cross the line before Tyler? I did, just barely. That's funny how close that was. <laughs> Amazing how just that tiny little bit of uh, space right here. That's an entire point in the championship. Photo finish for stage two, and we didn't even know it. That's pretty funny. So I assume that'll make us... Uh, it'll, it'll update here in a second on the actual screen. Position five, so we will get P5 for stage two. And uh, that's where we ended up finishing as well. So 
I'll definitely take it. Uh, I think that'll be it for this one. Thank you for watching. Another solid running in the truck and IS. All right, we got to look at the uh, one last thing. We got to look at the league standings now. This, of course, will be before stage points are added, so keep that in mind. It could fluctuate just a little bit as uh, those are added for my fifth place stage two and uh, wherever I finished stage one, I think it was also like fourth or fifth. So we got decent points in uh, both of those times. So pardon me while I navigate to that screen a little bit, less familiar with uh, these screens. Here we are. There, there it is. So here are your current season standings. I'm still up top, but just barely. Dylan's definitely moved in. And uh, don't forget that, uh, one, stage points for this race still need to be added. And two, this is following the real-life truck format, and so we've got things like championship points. So these are not necessarily the quote-unquote real standings. The guys that have wins are going to be above us. And uh, you'll see a big goose egg right here in my win column, despite being <laughs> top of the uh, old style format, kind of. So, um, would love to still get that first win. I've gotten close, but haven't quite gotten there yet. See the next person without a win's all the way down to Gavin in sixth. Everybody up here's got him. In fact, you got like Scott with three, Cade with five, though he has uh, missed quite a few races now. But, uh, okay, that will do it for real. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.